This episode of Other People's Airplanes is supported by Sennheiser, Winti Aviation T-Shirt Art, and Flying Fish Aircraft Parts. Today on Other People's Airplanes, we bring you day two of the 2013 Sun and Fun International Fly-In and Expo. Welcome to Other People's Airplanes, the show where we bring you into the cockpit and along for the ride whenever we do awesome aviation related stuff. I am your host, David Allen, and this week we are literally powered by Honda Generators. Honda Generators graciously gave us a, a big generator that you can't hear so that we could bring you these live stories and these live news updates from all over the grounds here at Sun and Fun. And all week, I am accompanied by my friend and colleague, Ben Sclair of General Aviation News. Ben, welcome to Other People's Airplanes Thank again. You. Thank you. It's good to be here. It is good to be here. Absolutely. What do we got around us today? We have beautiful, classic, antique, and vintage aircraft. It's just all drool-worthy. All drool-worthy. Pick one. I, I, I know, it's like uh, picking your favorite child. No, Pick I, one and tell me which one stands out at you right now. Well, I, I, I don't know if it's here or where, where it went off to, but the Howard DGA. Is I don't even know what that is. Hands, hands down my favorite. Uh, big radial engine, tail dragger. DGA stands for, literally, damned good airplane. Does it really? Absolutely. I love it. Absolutely. Does it really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Man. Retro style, it's it's absolutely a stunning airplane. Fantastic. Well, um, I you know I'm I'm loving these uh, Cessna 195s yes, over here. That yes. that that is just a classic look. I mean, it's got a couch in the back seat, right? Or, yeah. or it, the back seat is a couch. Exactly. Fantastic stuff. <laughs> of course, we're sitting here in front of one of my other favorite airplanes, the N2S3 Stearman. Yeah. Uh, I actually have stick time in the one behind us. Uh, which is just a phenomenal airplane. Uh, this week, of course, we are sponsored by our friends over at uh, uh, Flying Fish Aircraft Parts. The guy owns this particular airplane. Right on. Uh, and just beautiful stuff. So, yeah, there's great things to see out here. We uh, Some uh, uh, stagger wings and some airplanes that I don't even know, like the DGA. Yep. Just great stuff out here on the vintage lot. So uh, what do you kind of stories do you have for us uh, today? Ben? Well, it's, uh, it, it's it's a busy, it's another busy day here at, uh, here at Sun and Fun. Uh, we got a couple of things that, that stood out um, uh, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday actually. This is from uh, yesterday morning. Pilot Mall, the uh, yep. the the online uh, pilot shop, uh, debuted a tabletop simulator. Pilot so, Mall, the the <coughs> store. Pilotmall.com is debuting a simulator. A flight simulator. Okay. Yeah, and uh, if you trick it all out with with all the bells and whistles and and uh, throttle quadrant and and whatnot radios it's uh, max out at twenty five hundred dollars okay um, that's a, that's any high-end computer is going to be costing that exactly and that's uh, that's that's pretty big news it's uh, that you is know, big. It's, it's good for for uh, practicing procedures and and uh, and and just getting your checklist down when you're not able to get out to the airport see, and go flying see I, I was a big simulator guy uh, I've got lots of time flying simulators and a, I'm gonna be the first to tell you that a simulator will not teach you how to fly an airplane Fantastic, though, for teaching procedural stuff. Right. How right. to, you know, when to do what, what order you're looking for things. Yep. Even, even looking for things like, um, on on a flight. If you're planning to take a particular flight, I think they're good for. The, just the entire flow of the flight, knowing what you're looking for, what landmarks and stuff like that. Right. I think it's great. It's not going to teach you how to land an airplane, right? But for that, and for twenty five hundred well, bucks, yeah. I think they're great for doing yeah. instrument It'll stuff and knowing, you know, even checking things like your scan. I mean, I. I love it. Yeah, Good. yeah, it's a and and a, an, an interesting price point, which, uh, which very interesting. And you can start uh, that, and that's maxed out. They're, they start at a they couple start hundred less dollars. Than that. Oh really? yeah, no kidding. Yeah, yeah it's uh, that, but that was a compelling thing in my mind. Excellent. So. Um, Good stuff. Number two. Yeah. What else we got? All right. So uh, sticking with the value proposition, you know, aircraft ownership is, is rather pricey. It is. Can be rather yep. pricey, especially if you're if you if you're looking at new aircraft. So uh, uh, some some folks out at. Uh, out of the Aviation Access Project. Yep, I've heard of them. Um, so th they are offering one eighth shares of uh, either a Bristel or a Flight Design CT. And an eighth of an airplane is no small thing. That's pretty good to have. That's, right. That's yeah. Good. That's a lot of access. Yeah. So and it would be uh, seventy five hours a year of yeah. access. So for for the Bristel, that's the pricing I've got. Twenty five thousand two hundred dollars will buy you uh, seventy five hours of access. Most people pay a, more than that for their cars. To a brand new airplane. But most people pay that for their car. Yeah, absolutely. That's but, fantastic. But, and and the kicker yeah. of the whole thing is then then it's just two hundred dollars a month, 
and uh, and and that covers your insurance, your hangar, and your maintenance. Okay, so how much is it per hour? Uh, nothing. There's wait, no. How do you? How do you, wait? So well, how much does it cost? Really, it okay, costs no, nothing the, no. to rent the plane per hour. What are you paying for per hour? Your gas. Your gas. And Putting that's your it. gas in. That's it. Yeah. That's, that's it. spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're really. That's really. That's really. The whole, something to look the at. whole goal is to try and, and they, they they are how do you put it Rick uh, Rick with aviation access project put it to me our goal is to lower the dropout rate to 25% okay. of the of the pilot you know those who are seeking to, to yep. become pilots and to double the pilot population double so lofty goals lofty goals Can they do for it? sure well, I got to start somewhere is this, a, is this a place to start that I think I think this is part of the solution yeah I don't Excellent. know if it is the solution, but I, I applaud them for trying. Uh, I, I've, I've, some friends of mine have said, and I totally agree, that the only way to fix the aviation problem is to get people to fly more, yep. and this helps. Yep, yep, absolutely. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Well, we've got more stories coming at you very shortly, but of course we have to thank our sponsors, so we will be right back after a word from our sponsors. It's been said that the space shuttle is comprised of a million moving parts, all built by the lowest bidder. While I don't necessarily believe that is true, it's no secret that flying machines are, well, machines made up of a whole bunch of smaller components. Together, these components allow aviators to perform magic in the sky. And when those parts need to be replaced, Flying Fish Aircraft Parts is there to help. From consumables to avionics to airframe components, Flying Fish Aircraft Parts probably has the perfect solution for you. Every component is individually tested and inspected, and their in-house avionics workshop ensures that you only receive the highest quality used aircraft parts for your baby. Flying Fish Aircraft Parts' entire inventory is available online with new shipments arriving daily. They are happy to ship high quality parts and supplies right to your aircraft hangar. The team at Flying Fish Aircraft Parts will be on site for the 2013 Sun and Fun International Fly-In and Expo. So be sure to stop in at booth A25 to say hi and maybe tell them I sent you. For all your avionics, consumables, and airframe needs, remember, Flying Fish Aircraft Parts. back to our day two coverage of the Sun and Fun International Fly-In and Expo. I'm sure you're having a hard time hearing us, and I hope you are, because we are seeing some spectacular air show action going on behind us, or actually to our to our left. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's just, it's a beautiful day for an air show. Absolutely. And uh, you know, white this little is puppies. why we come, right? Yeah, absolutely. I white mean, little puppies in the sky. White little puppies. Uh, and I love the white little puppies, because especially for video, it really... It shows some motion, yeah, you yeah. know. <laughs> it helps out a lot. Yeah. So, Ben, you've got more news stories for us. What do you have now? Yeah, a couple shorter ones here, uh, but this one's a really cool and heartwarming one, at least in my mind. The Central Florida Aerospace Academy yes. here on the campus right. of Sun and Fun, a bunch of high schoolers. Yep. Uh, they, they've got a core of them have yep. actually gone on to become pilots. Okay. And uh, and and in a neat twist. Uh, we have we're joined every year by the British cadets who come over here on vacation yep. and volunteer work very hard to, to, to bring the show together. Yeah. So we've got 17 year old new pilots, or relatively okay, new 17 pilots. 17 year old pilots. Yep. From the Central Florida Aerospace Academy, right. are taking British air cadets from England uh -huh. who are 14, 15 years old. Yes. For flights in breezers, which are light sport aircraft, two seaters, and. Uh, it's wonderful. It's absolutely delightful that, that we got a 17-year-old flying a 15-year-old. 17-year-old flying 15. I mean, how exciting is that for both? Absolutely. Uh, my friend, yeah. Yeah, let's Johnny go flying. just took me up flying. Yeah. And, and then <laughs> and then the pilot's thinking, yeah, I'm taking kids flying. I mean, get them started early. Yeah. I've always thought it was important to get kids started early in flying, but to get them started early, starting other people early. Right. 
It's like crossing the streams. Uh, it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It, I love it. Crossing streams. That's not one I heard, <laughs> but that's good. I'll, I'll You've like watched it. Ghostbusters. Uh, Don't it, cross the streams. It's it, bad. Oh, this that's case, it's okay. Very good. That, that's okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's I been a while it. since I've seen that reference. Yeah. Well, I all right. <laughs> what else you got for us? <laughs> and this, this one I just happened into. Um, I was talking with lights up on the announcer yeah, stand yeah, yeah. earlier, and he said we are selling airplanes here at uh, Sun and Fun. And, uh, are we really? Yeah, we are. I, I confirmed uh, with uh, with a representative from Piper Aircraft that yesterday they signed a deal with uh, CAE, um, yep. Oxford Aviation, yep. uh, for 15, was it 15 aircraft? Yeah. And then today they signed a, a deal with uh, ATP uh-huh. that's um, for 100 archers, uh, 15 to be delivered this year in 2013. And uh, and then the remainder over three years. So I thought we weren't selling airplanes. Uh, apparently we're selling airplanes. We're selling airplanes like crazy. Yeah, and uh, and the rep from uh, and, and and her name's escaping me right now, but uh, from Piper said Sun and Fun is is the place to do business. She's she's just thrilled. So. Um, is that uh, Jackie? Jackie. Jackie yeah. Carlin. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Carlin. Yeah. yeah, she's a fan. We love working with Jackie. Yeah. She's great people. Yeah. Uh, See, so yeah, I was at the uh, I was at the press conference yesterday. Okay. And yeah. uh, where they talked about that. Okay. So super glad that we're moving on. I mean, it, you know, they they actually mentioned. FIT, which is at my home airport, okay. Florida, Florida Tech or Florida Institute of Technology, right. and they have a huge fleet of, of Piper Archers. In fact, I got to fly in one of the, the Avidyne-equipped uh, Warriors, I believe. So they've okay. got lots of airplanes, and I'm so glad that, that Piper is bringing on more people. Again, they're very trainer-heavy. Yeah, and absolutely. And so yeah. I build the pilot population, get people up in the sky. Right, and both, both of these were, were quoted as being fleet replacement orders. So uh, uh, Oxford has 200 aircraft in their fleet. Nice. So this will be a nice step for, uh, for, for Piper. It's, it's, for me, I think it's really neat to be able to step into a, a modern airplane mm-hmm. and get your training. Sure. And it, it, there's nothing wrong with a, a well-maintained older airplane. A lot of these places, though, they don't keep their airplanes maintained. And so uh, they're airworthy. <clears throat> right. And they're safe. Right. And there's nothing wrong with that. But maybe the interior is a little, needs a lot of work. Right. But, the, but these are also fleet um, fleet airplanes that the, the primary uh, uh, purpose is to train airline pilots. Right. Professional sure. pilots. So, so, you know, if you're, if you're going out to, you're not going to go to ATP if you just want to get your private. Right. Most likely. Most likely. So. And, and the same thing with the fight team. You know, but I think it's really neat to be able to just step foot into a, a, a modern, brand updated, new air, brand new airplane. And just, you know, fly that, it. That new plane smell is yeah, wonderful. It really is. <laughs> I've never owned one of those things. Again, we got to thank our sponsors. A huge thanks, Ben, for coming and helping us out My here pleasure. with the news. Uh, we got a couple more things to talk about after the break, but we will be right back for the continuation of our day two coverage of the Sun and Fun International Fly-In and Expo. Win Tee is an aviation-themed t-shirt business specializing in creating digitally designed aviation-related graphics for pilots, aviation businesses, and aviation enthusiasts worldwide. A pilot of 20 years, Brian Rivera is the owner of and graphic designer for Win Tee, a small but growing e-business located in New York City. By using DTG printing technology, Direct to Garment enables Win Tee to print one or 100 garments upon request within a reasonably low turnaround time. Customized print jobs using customer submitted graphics are also possible. Winti specializes in printing full color photographs, line art, and logos using the most popular digital file extensions. Now if you're a pilot and customization isn't your thing, Winti has a cool selection of popular pre-designed graphics created to fuel your aviation addiction, like this one, this one here, and of course my current favorite, the Squawk VFR shirt. Visit wint.com to order a Wing Rockin' Aviation t-shirt today. And welcome back to our day two coverage of the 2013, because I made a mistake with that earlier, 2013 Sun and Fun International Fly-In and Expo. I'm again here with Ben Sclair. We're going to do our last segment here. Thanks, everybody, for joining us online. Um, we are just having a ball. I, I mean, if this is what we have for the rest of the week. I mean, we're set. I mean, we're set. Chamber this of Commerce dialed up some great weather. They sure We got did. some good crowds, some beautiful airplanes. I wonder how many, um, you know, virgins they had to throw into the into the volcano to get this weather i mean it is spectacular out here this week right uh it is it is spectacular it is spectacular weather uh, so <laughs> what do we have for like tomorrow and the rest of the week you got any other well, news for us tomorrow tomorrow is a is a fun day it's uh the um there there is no purpose 
for float flying other than to have fun. Yes. And, uh, well, that's uh, entirely access. true. But, yeah, but, but still, it's fun. It's, it's, fun. it's and, fun. And tomorrow, the big day is splashing up at Lake Agnes yes. at... Uh, uh, Fantasy of Flight. Fantasy of Flight. Thank yeah. you very much. That's that. That'll be happening tomorrow. They That's should one of my favorite events. Absolutely. Of Sun and Fun. Should be a flyby here with all the the yep. seaplanes. There usually is. I'm assuming that'll be happening again tomorrow. Um, the WASP, the Women's Women's Air Service Air pilots. Service pilots. Yes. Yeah. They they're being honored by with a proclamation by the by the uh, mayor of Lakeland here, uh, Gal Fields. Uh, that'll happen tomorrow sometime. Excellent. Uh, one of our columnists with uh, with General Aviation News, Jeff Picaccio, will be hosting a, a Next Gen forum on on Friday. So Excellent. Next Gen is a big topic yeah. of uh, of what's going on, and uh, and then three names uh, that I think most people will or, or probably sh should know: Bob Bob Hoover, Freddie Cabin, Cabanas, Freddie Cabanas, Cabanas yeah. thank you, and uh, and Jimmy Leeward. Yep. Uh, the latter two, who sadly have, have deceased, um, are going to be honored with the Flight Path Hall of Fame uh, honor nice. tomorrow. And uh, Bob Hoover will actually be here uh, tomorrow night Excellent. for the honoring and then uh, on the grounds all day Friday, apparently. So, awesome. Very so cool. hopefully, uh, hopefully people will see him. Good. That's it. That's a lot. That's man. what we There's got. so much going on this week. And that's just day three. That's just day three. Yeah. Wow. We got three more days yeah. after that. After that. Man. Yeah. All right. So uh, we started yesterday. We started a contest, and basically I'm going to do this totally subjective contest where uh, whoever answers the most of these trivia questions correctly might win a pair of shade and sunglasses. I don't even know how I'm giving them away. But we do want to make sure that might. you guys are, in, are, are trying to answer these questions. Hit, it's, it's called a question of the day. Yes. That's what we're doing. Question of the day. Okay. Uh, Huge thanks to to Dave David Vanderhoof of the Airplane Geeks podcast, Walking Encyclopedia of Knowledge of Aviation Stuff, and just gave us a bunch of questions that we can ask you guys, the audience. So today's question, and, and to answer these questions, hit us up on Twitter uh, at twitter.com slash dayflies, and, or, or drop, drop us a line on the Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com slash other people's airplanes. I think that'll do it. Drop us the answers, hit me up on Twitter, and we'll get these. So here's the question of the day. What year was the first Sun and Fun? What year was the first Sun and Fun? Do you know? I can't I do, didn't ma know. I can't do math in my head that quickly. That's right, because you know how many years it's been going on. Right. Maybe they skipped, though. I don't know if they have. <laughs> so there you go. Question of the day. What year was the first Sun and Fun? Drop me a line on Twitter, and uh, we'll see if we can't. Whoever wins, the it gets the most questions right. There was one yesterday, so make sure you watch yesterday's episode. There was one today. We'll do one each day, except for maybe the last day. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Very good. good. Right. All right. I think that's it for today's episode. Uh, we will be back tomorrow for more Sun and Fun coverage, day three. Uh, we might actually do two episodes. You and I are going to be on the deck of Sun and Fun Radio in the evening. That's tomorrow already? That's to yeah, that's Thursday. Believe it? So today's Wednesday. Yeah. I, I might also shoot a little episode at the Splash Inn. I haven't decided if I'm going to take all the gear out there or not. But I am going to the Splash Inn tomorrow, which is, one of, again, one of my favorite events. I've, yep. I've flown twice at, at you know, seaplanes when I'm at Sun and Fun. Spectacular experience. Yeah. We haven't done it. Uh, I think that's it. So we'll catch you tomorrow. Uh, thank you for joining us here on the live stream. For those of you who are watching the live stream and for those of you who are watching online after the live stream, we love having you guys as an audience. And we'll catch you tomorrow for more Sun and Fun Other People's Airplanes coverage powered by our friends at Honda Generators. Have a good one. Today on Other People's Airplanes, we bring you day two of the 2012 Sun and Fun International Fly-In and Expo. Start over. Can I say 2012? Yes. Okay, I said 2012. We got to do this again. <laughs> I know it's all me. I can't believe I said 2012. No, that'll be it. That'll be next. Okay.